We are here with Benji from Skindred. How are you, my friend? I'm in fine fettle. I don't know what fettle is, but it must be good because that's what I'm feeling. Nice, nice. Fine fettle. Good to be here. How was uh, how was the set today? Um, you know, um, we trained hard for it. You know, we we went we went into the woods and we worked out for like six weeks what we we're gonna do, and I knew that. If I just kept jabbing and jabbing throughout the first few rounds, I was getting on, I would get him on the ropes. So yep. Once we had him on the ropes, it was only one way to go, and I was out. So I knew about the round five, they were getting tired, and we just kept jabbing and jabbing, and I just done what the coach told me, and before we know it, they were on the floor knocked up. Bam, bam, bam! I heard there was all kinds of debauchery yeah, going on yeah, during yeah, your yeah, set. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Madness. Yeah, it was tits, ass, everything. Ah, oh, we we can't say that. We're a family channel. We're not really. We We're not really. Of we but uh, of course, I mean, how has your Not Fest experience been uh, in Sydney and Melbourne and coming back here with your you know, lovely honest, wife? I, I do enjoy playing full stop. I think I did say, tell you the other week when we were talking. Mm. That it don't matter for me it, whether it's 80,000 people or 10 people in a pub. I just enjoy performing. I just enjoy performing. I'm, I'm very thankful to be in Australia at the Not Fest. I, very, I am. I am. I know how blessed we are. There's a lot of bands out there who could have been here, mm. you know, but we were chosen to be here, and I and I don't take that for granted, and I'm very honoured to be here, you know, for real, for real. You're here for a reason because you know how to rock and you know how to I do like it well. That. You're here for a reason because you know how to rock. Yeah. That's right. It's in your blood, He's my got friend. Some lyrics, this yeah. kid. Yeah, man, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, we're here for a reason because we know how to rock. Yeah, but the crowds was fantastic. Every crowd we played in front of since we've been here, even the side shows that we did with um Tailstorm. Tailstorm. Yeah. 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 Liz. They've been really cool as well. I mean, we, but you know, I got to say this. It's like I got to speak to the promoters who book bands in Australia. It's no point in us coming over here now and, not, and then not coming for another four or five years. It's ridiculous. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, we have got a fan base. You, If you watch us play in Australia, there are people who die in the seas. We make new fans every day. I'm not talking about playing the stadiums. We'll come and we'll play like 500 cap rooms up and down Australia. We'll tour here like we tour, like we tour everywhere else. We're not scared of hard work. But, you know, in order for us to do that, promoters have to book us fairly, treat us fairly. Mm, yeah. And so that we can, you know, I'm not saying I want to make a fucking million quid off the thing, but I just want to be treated fairly. I know there's people in this country who dying to see us and want to see us. People who couldn't make it today who would see us. Yes. So I just, whoever the promoter, yep. uh, whoever the company is that brings bands over here, please, please, please be fair. Give us a crack. We will not disappoint you in any shape or form. Book us a whole Perth. Adelaide, all that shit, because the whole tour, man. You want to come back? It's a, it, it's a waste of our time just coming and doing this three gigs and then going home. We need a, a real tour in Australia. So I'm pleading and I'm asking whoever books the bands I, in this country, book Skin Dread properly and let's come back and fuck this shit up. I will throw my money down onto the table for that I, right I'm, now, I'm, mate. I'm that being, would be phenomenal. I'm being as serious as yeah, I, man. I can't even be any more serious. We, we haven't come here to joke. We come here. To, 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 to win people's hearts and to rock them and I know we've yeah. done that you know yeah. we, and we've done it sincere, sincerely you know and I've loved watching people who stood there like this when we first come on with screwed up faces by the no, time I'm we scared. finish the set they're dancing in the sky yeah, you know we got them absolutely you know? so I just don't want this to be another five years and then you're not going to hear from Skindred again I want to come back ASAP bring the magic to a full on two, uh, two, 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 two uh, one and a half hour set and just bring the magic that I know the people deserve yeah you know, I mean, look, if we can, if we winning awards all up and down the world, we should be over here. You guys, they're, they're cheating you. These promoters are cheating you. And I know it might sound crazy, but I'm feeling uh, very passionate about what I've seen today with mm. the crowd. I may be going off track here, but no, 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 what no, no, I've no. seen with the crowd today, I think they deserve to see Skindred again sooner rather than later. Yeah, man, absolutely. Because, I mean, you, you guys are just on fire right now. You just played like, Wembley. Yeah, we did. We played our... Just before uh, we, you got here? We, well, we never even had a chance to go home. We went yeah. straight from Wembley, bro. <laughs> that is yeah, nuts, we man. Straight from, we from, straight from <laughs> Wembley to Sydney, yeah. yeah. Mate, of course, uh, you know, Lizzie Hale, you know, have you, she's she's amazing. Yeah. You've been catching up with her as well? Yeah, and me and Lizzie. Jamming with her? Me and Lizzie had some drinks here. And Lizzie jumped on stage with us at Download. Download is, in the UK is a big deal every mm -hmm. summer. Uh, Lizzie came on stage and she sang Warning with us at Download this last year. Uh, she's been a friend for like, wow, 15 years. Yeah. We played with them guys in Florida in 2000 and stupid o'clock. Way back when, you know? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're really good people. Disturbed, they're like family to us. First time Disturbed ever played in London. Skins had supported them and we've been friends and this is no lie since that day. Since that day, me and Draymond have been friends. You know, we keep in contact in each other's lives, you know? 
So yeah, we've got some, and Phil as well from Pantera. I'm really excited to watch the rest of this, these, these bands, you know? Oh man, it's what a phenomenal day. Yeah. It's And we're, we're very, very lucky here. Uh, in Australia, because I mean, we're so far away to even see yeah, you are some of the far bands. Away. It's like I, 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 <laughs> I, laughed, I laughed with my wife yesterday and said, I looked on the map and realized how far we are away from Newport. I was just fucking hell, yeah. people miles away. Like, you know? Yeah, they got us working on. I mean, I, I think since I left, since we played Wembley two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, since we played Wembley, I've been on like eight flights, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah but it's been great. It's been That's great. awesome, man. I, you know, I'll be honest, I can say, we, we, love, we love coming here. And I think that people deserve to watch Skindred and have a full tour, you know. You know, can you can you remember a program called Rec um, Recovery? Yeah, man. I was I was growing, I grew up on that. My my old band Dub World Dub came yes. on. Yes. And we did Recovery. And do you know what makes me sick? I can't find no footage of us playing Recovery anywhere. I've typed in Recovery. I've typed in the year we were here. Nothing, you know. And we and when we was on there, we were on with a band called Reef, who were huge. In yes. It, right? right. We was on and we were on Recovery with Reef. And uh, I never seen it because it was one of them. You, you know, we never had video recorders and all that. But I never seen that footage, and I would love to see you. Any any of your people out there can find the footage for recovery. ABC, right? ABC, pull right. out, dust off those archives, Please. and do it. Do because, it for I mean, our man Benji. I, I, I've sat on YouTube typing in, and I've seen all it, these other bands playing on Recovery. It would exist, man. I it's it's got to be. I you know what? I. I'm going to send a message to somebody Please that do. I think I know who might be able to go through your we channel. We played a song called Million Dollar Love and I think we played Enemy Maker. Two songs we played on it. And when we played Million Dollar Love, we, they had all the money float from the sky down on us. It was a man. really, it was a classic day, man. Uh, you know, and that's when Dub War was touring. Yeah. If, if Dub War can get on recovery and, and get some uh, Australian TV and, and work it, surely Skindred can do that. 100%. Hundred percent. You know, I love the work, but I know Skindra is a fearsome monster when it comes to the life thing. You know, I we, I, we I would not ever want to go on after you. <laughs> I tell you, man. I was in a lift. <laughs> I, was in a, I ain't gonna say who it was, but I was in a, I was in the elevator yesterday going after the show, and the guy said to me, "Hey, man, you're in Skindra, right?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "I fucking hate going on after you." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry." I said, <laughs> I, I said, "Do you want me to calm it down?" He said, "Would you?" I said, Fuck no." no. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's good fun. Oh man, of course. I mean, reggae is is a big part of your life. Yeah, man. just a little bit, just yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, have you seen the new Bob Marley movie? I have seen the new Bob. Marley. What do you thought? I just thoughts? Very enjoyed it. Yeah, I went. I took my wife. Um, well, I dragged my wife because she she's not <laughs> a massive reggae Bob Marley fan. So, but I dragged her to watch Bob Marley the movie, and I enjoyed it, man. I really had a great time. If you want to know the truth, get a fucking book and read about it. Yeah. But it's a movie. I mean, you think Bohemian Rhapsody was real? It, 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 they're movies. they got to make movies. Yeah, you that's know? right. They, they bend the and truth even, a even little bit. Straight out of Compton. If just films, you got to watch them and take them with a bit of salt you, that they deserve. You yeah. Because Jesus never wrote the book, but everyone's make movies about him too. Yeah, there's been, there's been a couple. <laughs> there's been a few <laughs> movies about Jesus and he never wrote the book. you, though? Who's playing Benji Webb? Oh, no, no, in... no. I want AI to play me, how's that? De there you go, you there should you go. do that. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not asking nobody. But one thing I want to say, <laughs> and I've been thinking about this. I don't know if you, uh, if you might be old enough. There was a TV show called On the Buses. Yes. Right? In, in the 70s. Whoa. Now, I want to get to the stage with AI where you can dial up a movie. So I want to watch Goodfellas. But with the cast from on the buses, you see oh. what I'm trying to say? Yeah, that's the magic. You know, you can type, dial up any film you want, pick the cast, put them in there. Now that's good AI. That's it's good. AI. Now, it's gonna happen. I think it will. I think Man. it will. I'm, I'm enjoying the voices they're doing. It's funny because they keep doing Mike Tyson, but you can tell it's not Mike Tyson because it's too clear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mike. I, I named my dog after Mike Tyson. I'm a big fan, but I, when when you get these voices come up on the AI and it's as clear as that, I'm like. Mike is an audible man. Fuck off. Who's, have you met him? I nearly met him. I got a story about that. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, I do. Oh, no, so do I don't want to hear the, that story. I'm in the studio recording. I, was, I used to, I, I had to dab. I had to go um, producing. And I was producing this band called Revoca from South Wales. And we were in the studio, and this friend of mine came into the studio and he said, You know, um, do you want to meet Mike Tyson? I said, What? He said, Sure. I said, Boys, I'm going to meet Mike Tyson. He said, But Mike wants weed. I said I, can, ah. I said I can get my weed. Of course I can get my weed. Yeah. <laughs> so I made some calls, got the weed, drove down to Cardiff, got to the hotel. We sat in the foyer. I'm like, I'm gonna meet Mike Tyson. I'm gonna meet Mike Tyson. 
Guy came down, the guy, give him the weed. <laughs> give him the weed, give, give the guy to give, it wasn't, it was someone else who was in Mike's camp. So I got a wet fish in my face. Oh no. Yeah, and I, to this guy, it's called Jason Lewis, and I gotta say, Jason Lewis, you lying bastard. <laughs> you knew when you come and got that weed off me, Mike Tyson wasn't gonna meet me. And you got it under false pretenses because he knew I wasn't gonna leave our house and bring him weed. Bastard. We've got it, mate. We've got a, a name for that down here. We've got a we've got a name for that. Really? I can't even say that word here that in Australia. Is. Really? No, it's a naughty word. What is? It? Cunt act. That's what you call it he here. Always swears. I say, I know, I know, I know. I do he it. Says I do he it. Swears it's what you call it. <laughs> And then he blames me. Like, it is so your fault. You... I'm in Wells and he's blaming me for you swearing. You brought it out yeah. in me, mate. I think your missus don't like you swearing and you're <laughs> passing the buck. That's what it is. Yeah, mate. That, 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 that was my mug. I love it. Sorry. Well, yeah. close enough, close enough. You yeah. never know what's going to happen. But of course, what's next for Skindred? You know, I don't do the um, crystal ball thing, but I do know whatever we go, it's going to rock. I want to write a new record soon. Mm -hmm. Got some great ideas. And I want to come back to to Australia and do a full on tour. I've got a better idea. What? How about you just don't go? Ah. You just stay. No, man. Do you know, I got my wife here. Why would I go? She can stay. Man, you both can come, come stay with They're me. Brilliant. Thank you so much for the invite. I'll let you know whether <laughs> she's up to the air. If she's into it, we'll be staying. I'll tell my wife. She's going, what? There's, there's a band in my living That's room. Right. I'll go, yeah, yeah, it's Skindrew. That's yeah. okay. They're eating the cereal. It's all sweet. <laughs> but uh, man. <laughs> Benji. Imagine. Thank you so much Thank again, you, man. man. It's always much. a pleasure. Thank We're going to have all the links down here uh, and on the website up here in space. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Yeah, man. Big up.